Hello and welcome to the last video blog for 2017. I must say I feel a little bit nostalgic recording this right now. Uh, why? Probably because I'm getting older and more sentimental. But it really has been the most dynamic year in the industry. I, I sort of um, map the solids progress, I guess, in terms of changes in the industry and the volume of business that we do through here. But um, I don't know a year where we've had so many changes on so many different fronts. The banks have made about four or five incremental changes to lending policy, um, tightening with overseas uh, borrowing. It's virtually non-existent for the major banks these days. Uh, massive changes to first homeowners. Uh, we've now got uh, vacancy um, tax as well. Uh, we've got so many changes on the on the property front. In fact, in my personal opinion, too many. You really need to feather the approach with changes. The um, the macro and microeconomics of a country. Uh, something that you know the old joke: get ten economists in the one room, and you'll get ten different opinions. But in my opinion, I think we've had too much change. So my predictions for 2018 are this: I actually believe that our markets on the domestic front will continue to grow in Melbourne and Sydney. I think the demand is absolutely ever present and we will see consistent growth, uh, continual growth. I think the apartment markets will be the nice surprise for the next 24 months. I think um, with the amount of developers that can't get finance at the moment, with the amount of people opting out of their, in, uh, their development sites, uh, the smaller developers are finding it absolutely crippling to try and get any funding whatsoever and having to put their personal assets on the line for the first time in a long time. So I think we're, we're already seeing a slowing. Any of you watching the blog right now would know that you haven't heard any press about oversupply. It's because there isn't any anymore. And rental rentals are amazing. Um, we are getting um, really good increases at the moment on all of our rental properties. And I've got a lot of people offering another $10 a week, $20 a week to actually secure a property. It's uh, not easy at the moment if you're trying to rent. Uh, because of the undersupply that we're uh, facing. But I guess um, on a, a more optimistic note, um, people still need to invest and property is where uh, the heart and soul of the Australian economy lies. And um, I think that moving forward, we're going to have continual growth. I think we're going to have to see lessening of fiscal policy and um, and I think that people will continue to come to Melbourne and Sydney. And it's really keeping the borders open that is increasing our property at the moment. Um, now, it wouldn't be 2017 without finishing on smashed avocado, would it? Um, in today's Fin Review, there's actually an article saying that uh, the beef industry is under attack because of appetite changes and people are opting more for smashed avocado and breakfast than they are for um, a burger and a steak for lunch. So the beef industry says they're feeling it. And um, I, I never forget in the play the importance of being earnest that um, there's a debate over cucumber for ready money. And uh, I smiled as I read the avocado article today because it appears in 2018 um, it's now Avocado for Ready Money, a new fiscal statement. So Merry Christmas. Um, thank you to all of you who came to our solid Christmas party. It was such an event with um, degustation in the sky. We had 12, um, 12 different meals with matching wine and uh, I had the best time and thank you all that attended and for those of you who can't attend, I hope you can make it next year. Merry Christmas. Stay safe. And uh, we're back on deck on the 8th of January. Thank you so much.